Hi everyone, it's Mackenzie from Soundtracks. Today we're going to talk about how to select a decoder for your model. We have a helpful tool on our website called the Decoder Selector. It's found under the Reference tab. In this video, we're going to dive a little deeper on how it works. Soundtracks.com has tons of helpful resources for you. Yes, you can shop and buy your decoders on Soundtracks.com, but we have tons of helpful information for you, specifically packed into the reference section. Today we're going to talk about the decoder selectors, so we're going to go ahead and go to the reference tab. Now you'll notice under the reference tab, we have a lot of information for you. What we're talking about today is the decoder selector, the first option here. This is also where you can find sound samples, some of our latest videos, documentation, so this includes things like app notes, technical references, and other documents like that that you might find helpful. You can also find all of our product manuals here. This includes discontinued and current product manuals. We also have information on helping you choose the right sound system if you don't know if you need a decoder or an under the table sound you can go to this tab and learn a little bit more we have references on choosing the right diesel sound and choosing the right steam sound you can also find helpful information under our sound primer we have a quick locomotive air horn history for you if you need help picking the air horn for your locomotive we also have a reference on locomotive air horn usage where you can see which different railroads used which air horns and so on. And then we also have pages for our factory installed decoders. So decoders that come factory installed in Athern or Bachman models, you can find their CV defaults in this section. So let's head back up to the decoder selector. All of these pages can also be found on the drop down menu under the reference tab. So let's go ahead and click on decoder selector. The decoder selector is a page you're going to use if you already have a model and you're trying to find a decoder that will fit into it. Now our decoder selector is and will always be a work in progress as there are new models coming out all the time. If you have a model that's not listed on our decoder selector and you want to know what decoder will fit in it, our support department is happy to help and then we're happy to add the model to our decoder selector list so future customers won't have to call. They can just find their model and find their decoder. Now how this page works is you scroll down and you pick a scale to start with. So what scale is your model? Let's say you have an HO scale model. Now the list is broken down into manufacturers. So who built your model? Athern, Atlas, Bachman, Blackstone? As you can see, we have quite a few manufacturers listed here under HO. It's our biggest section of the decoder selector. Let's go back up and say that you have an Athern model. So when you click on Athern, now we have listed every model from Athern that we've had access to to open up, look around inside, and pick the best decoder for that model. The models are arranged by brand and engine type. So you can see here we have Genesis Steam, Genesis Diesel, quite a few Genesis Diesels. Then you can scroll down and get to the Ready to Roll Diesels and the Roundhouse Steam. Let's say that you have an Alco RS3. So that is a Ready to Roll model listed right here. And you can see that our TSU PNP8 or our Eco PMP will fit into the model and we also recommend a speaker and baffle kit in this column. Now all of the decoders are linked to their corresponding product pages so if you want to learn more about the decoder or purchase you can click on that. I'm opening it in a new tab just for the sake of the video but when you normally click on it it will just change the page for you. So when you click on the decoder the product page shows up and you'll notice you still need to pick the part number because most of our decoders come in different sound profiles, steam, a few diesels, and some of them have an electric version as well. Now the model that we are looking for was an Alco RS3, so we know that we need the Alco diesel decoder. So we can click on that and it fills in the part number and then you can add to cart 
or if you need to know more about the decoder, you can scroll down and see the specifications. Now these specifications are the same for each part number. Talks about the board, the board size, the motor stall current, the function outputs, the sound channels, everything like that is the same for each part number of this Tsunami 2 TSU PMP8 decoder. The only difference are the prime mover sounds that are going to be loaded in there. On the product pages you can also get to your Tsunami 2 owner's manual which includes an installation guide, a user's guide, and the technical reference you will have to go to the manuals page in the reference section for. And you can also see your sound selection references. So if you weren't sure which decoder you needed you can look here and see which prime mover sounds are on that decoder. For example you can see which EMD sounds are on the EMD decoder and which EMD sounds are on the EMD2 decoder to make sure you're getting the right decoder. And we give you a little list of speakers that are compatible with this decoder. If you scroll down a little bit further, you will see the sound samples. The TSU PMP8 is only available in diesel, so you can open this up and see the diesel sounds. All of the Tsunami 2 diesel decoders have the same list of air horns, so this is a common list among all the decoders, but the prime mover list will change based on a part number. So here you can see the Alco prime movers and then we've got the Baldwin and others below that GE and then you're getting into your EMD EMD-2 decoder sound files followed by your GE and you can just click on those sounds to listen to them. And you can see that you get a little minute or two there to hear the engine along with a horn and bell and everything on those. Now also under the part number, if you weren't sure which sound profile to choose, our decoder selector also had that listed for you. So before you click on the decoder, you can see that the part number is listed right next to it that we suggest. So if you get over here and you can't remember which sound profile you're going to need, you can click on each one and you can see that the part number there changes so that you can see that 885815 corresponds to the ALCO so you know you're getting the right decoder for your model. Now when it comes to TSU PMP8 or TSU 2200 decoders, people often wonder why we recommend replacing the original electronics or the motherboard that comes in the model. And we recommend this because it saves space. Say a model comes with a motherboard that has multiple types of connectors for multiple decoders. We've seen as many as three different types of connectors on one motherboard. While the variety of options is nice so that you can easily plug in whatever decoder you have, the dimensions of all of these add up and lessen the available space that you have for installing a decoder and speakers and a current keeper. So if you're trying to pack a lot of electronics into a small space, you can save a lot of space by completely replacing this motherboard with your TSU PMP8 or TSU 2200 decoder. This is very common with small DCC ready models that come with DC dummy plugs. The combined dimensions of the TSU 2200 or the TSU 21P NEM a current keeper, a speaker, an adapter, a harness, or board can add up very quickly and can sometimes exceed those of the motherboard or total electronic space allowance in the model. The TSU PMP8 eliminates the need for the motherboard and any necessary adapter harnesses or boards and it includes a socket for an easy current keeper installation. So by replacing the motherboard, you can save a lot of space and in some cases actually make your installation a little bit easier and faster. Now also on the decoder selector, you'll notice that in some instances we have a model listed twice. Take this EMD SD38 for example. We have a 
2017 and older versions, and then a 2018 and newer. This is because in 2018, Athern added a motherboard that had a plug to simply plug in the TSU 21P NEM8 decoder. This makes for a very easy install where you can just take out the dummy plug and plug in our TSU 21P NEM8 decoder. Models from 2017 and older didn't have this plug, so we recommended using the TSU PMP8 decoder. And you'll notice there are a few models like this in the years are listed with each one so you can figure out which model you have and which decoder is going to be the best fit for your model. As I mentioned before, all of the decoders here in purple will link to their product pages and the same goes for the speakers and baffles. So you can click on the speaker and the baffle and it will take you to those product pages as well so you can see the specifications of the speaker and the size to make sure it is what you want for your model. And then we have a baffle kit that goes with some of our round speakers. We don't have baffle kits for our oval speakers because it's very easy to make a baffle for those with some sheets of styrene. Now you may also notice that some of the models are purple links as well and some are not. So if you click on one of these models that has a purple link on it, we don't have one of these sheets for every single model on the decoder selector. But if we do, it can be a very helpful little shopping list for you to make sure you have all the tools and supplies you'll need to do your install. So there's a little snippet about the model and the decoder and how long it should take to do the installation. You can also see up here in the right hand corner, it tells you how easy the install is going to be. If it's easy, if it's going to be a beginner easy level install or an advanced install that's going to take quite some time and modification to the model. And you scroll down, you can see the decoder we recommended, the speaker and the baffle kit we recommended. In this case, we also have a gasket kit to mount all of that. And we also recommend getting some shrink tube and some extra wire to make your install go smoothly. And then here at the bottom, you'll see what tools you need. So you'll need a soldering iron, solder, wire strippers, cutters, an X-Acto knife, screwdriver, heat gun, kept on tape, and electronics flux for this install. Most of these are probably tools that you already have on your workbench, but if you don't, you can grab those at your hobby store before you start the install. So that was an Athern HO example, but each of these tabs is set up the same way. Whether you're doing in scale, you still go pick by your manufacturer, and then narrow it down by model. Same for S, O, and G scale. You can click through and see what models we have been able to look inside and what recommendations we have for you. I hope you'll find this overview of our decoder selector helpful and hopefully it can save you some time. You don't need to call our support department if you have a model and you're looking for a decoder to fit into it. You can go to our website, hit that reference tab and go to the decoder selector, go through this, see if we have your model listed and you can figure out which decoder and speaker you're gonna need for your model. You can purchase right from our website if you want to, or you can take that information into your local hobby shop and you can purchase your decoder from them. As I mentioned, if the model that you're looking for is not on our decoder selector, please feel welcome to give our support department a call or send them an email and they will help you find the perfect decoder for your model and we can update our decoder selector for future customers with the information we get from you.